morning. Welcome back to Cardio News Channel 13 at noon. Hope your Monday has been treating you well so far. After a very chilly start to the day, temperatures have mostly warmed to the 30s and 40s. Still cool for the high valleys and mountains. This is a look in the lower terrain in Lyman from one of our exclusive VR Wireless Neighborhood Weather Network cameras. We did get some productive melting over the weekend, but even still, there are a couple of icy patches on side streets and parking lots, especially up toward the mountains. So I just make sure to use caution in those neighborhood parking lots. Right now, temperatures stay in the 30s again. Uh, Sub-zero temperatures still for Gunnison, single digits for Alamosa, as John mentioned just before the break. Throughout the rest of the afternoon, you can expect mild and pleasant conditions with mostly sunny skies. Uh, again, it'll be dry. Wind speeds won't be a major issue, but it could be a bit blustery off to the foothills. We'll be watching that for you. Live HG Doppler radar so far isn't indicating any sort of shower or storms for us. We're staying nice and dry. We'll dodge any showers over the next couple of days. Here's a look at this afternoon on SkyCast. We pause the clock at midnight, and during this time, you'll only see a couple of clouds. Yeah, we'll stick with unlimited sunshine this afternoon, mostly clear skies overnight, with temperatures staying very cool, dipping to the single digits and the teens. Make sure you bundle up late tonight and into tomorrow morning. As for the evening commute, I'm not expecting any sort of weather-related issues. It really should be just fine getting around Southern Colorado, especially for the lower elevations where we've had a lot of melting from our last snowstorm uh, late last week. Remember to connect with us for all the latest on current temperatures, our seven-day forecast, and our most updated video forecast. Download our app, Cardio.com. Seven-day forecast shows that the next couple of days feature temperatures in the 40s. We'll stay in the upper 40s Wednesday and Thursday. Wednesday, we added more clouds. Winds will start to pick up. And Friday, all the way through Sunday, there's the possibility for some isolated flurries. Nothing looks overly intense or widespread at this point in time, but there's a lot of uncertainty in the weekend forecast, so it's something we'll watch for you. 44 tomorrow in Pueblo, upper 40s we go Wednesday, Thursday. A bit more unsettled on Friday and Sunday, uh, but a bit drier too, Saturday and Monday. Canyon City for you, 46 for tomorrow's high temperature, low 50s we go Wednesday, Thursday. Remember those clouds thicken up, winds kick up too. And on Friday, we usher in our next possibility for some spotty snow showers. Uh, the same goes for Sunday. In Teller County, we do add in the possibility for a few flurries on Thursday. That chance lasting through the weekend, even through the start of next work week. Remember, we will have to watch the most updated forecast models for you, and we will bring you the latest on that weekend forecast as we learn new information. We will be giving you those overnight temperatures once again coming up next. And if it's anything like uh, last night, cold again Ooh, yeah. tomorrow morning. Extremely cold tomorrow morning. Yeah. Boy, thanks, Abby. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Well, the iconic Playboy Mansion in 